You're not trying to draw a psycho pigeon. You really are crazy. I've got a handy guide for you today. My producers have given me a healthy smattering of companies, and we will rank them in order of most important to boycott to least. This video is sponsored by Genius. Sell more from them in a minute. First, let's get started. First company up on the list, North Face. Oh yes, North Face had a fellow with a big burly mustache dressed up like a chick uh, with a Summer of Pride ad. I didn't believe this was actually a North Face ad at first. I, I thought it was just a parody or something like that, no. but, but it turns out that it's a real ad. So this is pretty egregious. It was kind of funny, especially that they left him with the mustache on. No, God, please, no! And since I am not a teenage white girl from the suburbs, I don't have a huge stake in the North Face fight. So since it's the first one, we'll just put it right here on the table. But I, I would not say this is the most urgent brand to boycott. Also because, is North Face even popular anymore? No. Uh, I don't think so. That thing was, it was cool when I was in middle school. I assume it's not, not that cool anymore. Pro probably just trying to get some buzz. Next up, Uber Eats. Uber Eats has gone gay? Oh, you know what? I remember this. If I'm not mistaken, Uber Eats had this whole ad, this disgusting ad about what to eat before you engage in certain weird activities in the boudoir. Yeah, it was. It's got this eggplant with like a leather gimp suit on. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, that's up there. It certainly ranks higher than North Face. Disney. Oh yeah, Disney number one. And you're watching Disney Channel. Number one on the list by far so far. Disney is not quite as gross as say Uber Eats. You're, you're not going to be S&M eggplants with, with Mickey Mouse, but but Disney is much more subtle and has a much wider reach and could be far more influential in the culture. So that one's definitely top of the list. Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble sponsors every woke company ever. Like every every woke ad that you ever saw is from Procter & Gamble. P&G owns like everything. So it'd be, it is very difficult to boycott P&G. Next up, Gillette. Gillette is really woke in all sorts of ways. Sex on race, on masculinity, on, on all of it. I remember some years ago when Gillette decided to convince young girls to start shaving their faces. So Gillette's been at this a long time. It's one of the reasons that Jeremy's Razors exists and is doing very, very well. And buy my new razor instead. Still far less egregious than Really all of these here. I mean, it's still really bad, but but less so than the others. Right now, head on over to GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT. Our friends over at GenuCell sold out of their dark spot corrector, and our listeners have been begging, begging on their knees for a restock. Well, I've got great news. Just in time for the summer, it is back. GenuCell's famous dark spot corrector has not one, but three cutting edge ingredients. Goes to work fast to target sunspots, dark spots, liver spots, and even old discoloration, both on your face and hands. You can now enjoy your summer sun, beach, and barbecues without embarrassing spots. GenuCell's most popular package also features their summer essentials like the best-selling Ultra Retinol Moisturizer with a powerful retinol alternative for safe use in the sun. You will be amazed at how quickly you will see the results or 100% of your money back guaranteed. Go to GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT right now to get your dark spot corrector in the GenuCell most popular package. That is GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT right now. Save over 70, 70% off GenuCell's most popular package. All orders will include a mystery luxury gift while supplies last. GenuCell.com slash KnowlesYT today. J and B, this one really, really got me. Because you think, okay, Target, yeah, they've been lived for a while. Okay, Disney, yeah, oh, fine, whatever. But you think whiskey brands should hold firm, right? J&B. J&B is a drinking man's whiskey. J&B, I remember drinking J&B when I was in college. That was like bottom shelf, but, you know, pretty good for what it is. Working man's drink. And then they aired a commercial where some grandpa decides to become a That was really bad. How do you boycott J&B? Nobody even drinks J&B. This is not a particularly popular Whiskey. Bad whiskey, bad sex, and bad men, I never forget. The commercial was very, very egregious, but if you've got to prioritize what companies to boycott, you'd put it low on the list. Because it's just not an influential company. Target, yeah, Target's up there. Target, even more than PG, I think, because it's so visible and there's some momentum here on Target. Target's losing some, some real revenue. So if you can if you can just show companies that there's a cost 
to embracing this bizarro world rainbow, then other companies are going to be less inclined to do it. So you, just as a prudential matter, you got to go after Target. The LA Dodgers. I don't know why you would support the LA Dodgers to begin with ever, but yeah, you got to boycott them. They go before P&G also, actually. Because also what, what the LA Dodgers are embracing is not just indirectly evil or sort of vaguely or ambiguously evil. The LA Dodgers are honoring a group that exists strictly to mock Christianity, to engage in satanic rituals that mock Christ. So the, the fact that these people are permitted to walk around in public without being shamed or told to put on proper clothing or thrown into you know some insane asylum is a scandal that we should deal with politically. Got to boycott the Dodgers. Just be a Yankee fan. Ford. Oh, right. Ford, because the Raptor turned I know. That was very silly. Yeah, it's pathetic. All these companies, though, because they've all bought into cross-industry, international organizations that force this stuff on you, because the asset managers that invest in these companies are all forcing the, the rainbow upon them. Welcome the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. They all dance with it a little bit. And it's a, it's a systemic problem. It's not just a problem with the companies. With Ford, put it relatively lower on the list. Bud Light. Bud Light. Disney is still the most important one to get because they're attacking our children. It's the most prominent company to boycott. Now, I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going to reverse this. I'm going to reverse my near decision. Disney is number two. Bud Light is number one. Bud Light is number one because we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. It's so targeted. It's so specific. It's devastating. Bud Light was the most popular beer in America. And because they sponsored... They are now in the doldrums. They've now lost, at, at last count, $27 billion or something like that. Ezra Bush. Bye-bye money. The market cap has just completely cratered. The sales are so bad they can't give this stuff away to their distributors. They thought, Bud Light thought, okay, we'll weather the storm. Our market cap will decrease and I'll bounce back up. That isn't what's happened. It's just, it's gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. Now it's just staying right down there at the bottom. So you got to keep that up. you got to destroy Bud Light. <laughs> Bud Light Delenda Est to prove the point to the other guys. And then you can take on even more important companies like Disney, like Target, like the Dodgers, like P&G for sure. You remember some years ago when, when the right was really hot on cancel culture. So we've got to cancel cancel culture. Cancel culture is terrible. You might recall I had a little bit of a different view. I said, hey, 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 actually cancel culture is good. It can be good. This version of it's bad where you get canceled for being normal and saying true things. But we should cancel organizations and people for unrepentantly saying things that are false and evil and wicked. That's called standards. That's called norms. That's called taboos. I wrote a book about it called Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. Definitely worth checking out. Yeah. We need to cancel all of these companies. We absolutely should boycott them. We should punish them for the substance of their views that they are advocating because the things they're advocating are evil and not conducive to the flourishing of our society. So we should cancel them and punish them, certainly using our wallets. But if you got to list it in order, you got to prioritize. Bush, Disney, Target, the Dodgers, Procter & Gamble, Uber Eats, North Face, Gillette, J&B, and if you have time left over, Ford. There it is. That's the official selection. See you next time. You gotta fight for your